Good morning. It's 6.50 in the morning on Wednesday, September 11th. And a whole bunch of my YouTube comrades are doing a 30-day challenge. And so I kind of personally kicked myself in the butt a little bit and decided that I'm going to do a 30-day challenge too. I don't know what I'm challenging myself to do yet, but we'll talk about that in a second because the gardeners are there and they're making a lot of noise. So I'll talk to you on the flip side. This happens in my neighborhood a lot. We live in a neighborhood filled with pepper trees and they're beautiful and tall but very weak. So at times they just fall down into the street. So what I decided to challenge myself to do, and I don't know if I'll stick to it, besides making a video a day for 30 days, is to take a walk before I go to work. Because for this last year, I have not walked before I went to work. And that's not a good thing. Oh, there's a low tree. <laughs> so I already put my stuff in the car and I'm already dressed because I'm heading out to work and I'm taking 10 minutes just to walk around the block. Not a long one, but I figure this is an easy way to do it because I'm already dressed and I'm already ready to go. So I might as well get outside. It'll get quieter in a second as I turn onto a side street. I'm on the busy street now. And I just walk by a house that they have a little security system that says, hello, when you walk past. It's a little bit creepy. Okay, let's see. We're going to get onto that quiet street now. Okay, here we are. So, last year, um, the summer of last year, right before I turned 54, I figured out, uh, if you don't know already, if you haven't watched my videos, I figured out that I am autistic at 54 years old. That's an interesting thing to learn about yourself. And then throughout the year, I also realized that I have ADHD. So I am an autistic adhd -er. And um, what that's caused me to do over the last year is to really kind of like dive deep into the way that I live my life and relive events in my life. So last year, when I found that out at first, it was kind of a little bit scary, but then super exciting. I have to show you something weird. Hold on a second. So at this house that I'm walking by, they have like a punching bag that looks like a bald guy. And it's been there for all the years that I've lived in this neighborhood, but it still always freaks me out. <laughs> so I just wanted to show it to you. So when I found that out about it myself, I was initially a little bit sad and nervous, but then I got this, like, this feeling of excitement, like, oh, I know this new thing about myself. Let me try to, you know, live my life with this new understanding. Let me push through. Let me, now I can work even harder that I know the truth about me. And last school year, I worked my butt off. I worked so hard. I got to work at seven o'clock every morning to have an extra hour before work to prepare things. I stayed an hour to an hour and a half late most days to look at data, to prepare things for the next day, to clean up. I just worked really hard. And now, a year and a couple months later, I've realized that I'm in autistic burnout. I have not been able to take good care of myself. I've made videos about <laughs> taking care of myself, but that was when prior to me learning that I was burned out. So this walk is part of the first 
uh, day where although I'm burned out and really exhausted emotionally and physically and mentally, I'm gonna try to do this little thing each day before I go to work, as long as the weather permits, to try to help myself get out of burnout. And I think that's the first step. I sat on the couch for a long time. <laughs> I've been scrolling and watching videos, making videos too, but a lot of scrolling, a lot of playing Candy Crush, and a lot of just vegging out. And I don't want my life to be determined by my autism. I want my autism to inform how I'm going to be taking care of me. So you're gonna walk with me. I have just a few more tens of yards before I'm back at my car. And the reason why, uh, I know I'm rambling, but remember Autistic ADHD and some of my favorite YouTubers, you're, you're with me because you all ramble along with me. <laughs> um, huh, what was I saying? Oh, there it goes, it's gone. Um, I totally forgot what I was saying. Anyway, I'm almost at my car and I'm gonna hop in it and go to work. Oh, now I remember. So I used to just hop into my car and go to work and get there early. And I would always beat myself up if I didn't get there at a certain time. Like I had failed myself, even though I was the one who set the goal to be there at a certain time. As long as I'm there by my contracted time, I'm fine. So here I am back at the car. There's the car. I'm gonna get inside. Here we go, getting inside the car. Okay, uh, that's better. And I'm gonna head to work. And the walk energized me. Hopefully it'll put me in a better mood. I'm gonna get to work later than I like getting to work, <laughs> but I'm going to learn to like getting to work at this later time because the benefit is fresh air, movement, time to myself. So my challenge is to give myself fresh air, movement, and time to myself before I go to work, and you're going to be along with me because hopefully I'll be um, making a video of it each day and posting it, and hopefully by the end of these 30 days, I will be nearing the end of feeling burnt out. Thank you for sticking with me. I love you all. Uh, if you're new here, I will love you too if you stay around and are kind in the comments. Remember, be a nice human <laughs> and I'll see you later. Take it easy.